Hey, in this video I will show you how I painted this easy goldfish in acrylics. If you want to paint this, I have a link to all my reference photos and supply list in the description box below. I first drew out my fish on a piece of transparent paper, which I cut to the same size as my canvas board. And the board I'm using here is Claire Fontaine round canvas board, which I gessoed a few times and sanded down to make it smoother, which makes it a lot easier to blend and get fine details. I started by putting down a layer of white mixed with phthalo blue, just so I don't have to fight the white of the canvas when I'm trying to blend. It doesn't really show on the camera, but I'm smoothing some of the streaks out with a mop brush. I'm using a makeup blush brush for that. And drying it with a hair dryer. And here's a little trick when painting round canvases. To keep them from rolling around on the easel when I'm painting, I stick a piece of double tack tape on the back and that should keep it in place. Now I'm transferring just the outline of the wave and fish so I know where about to start and stop my light and dark blended areas. Starting with the sky. I'm putting down the light and dark colors, just using white and phthalo blue, and a little black. And smoothing out with the mop brush, it needs to be clean and dry for it to work. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't look good right away, I'm going to do more layers like this, Adding another layer, and it's important that you let it dry completely after each layer or they can lift. On to the water, blocking in the lights and darks. And use a lot of paint when blending, it will make it easier for you. And work fast. When blending large areas like this, I like to use two brushes, one loaded with the dark color and one with the light so I can slap it on and work fast. And don't worry, see how terrible that first layer looks. It's going to need a lot of layers before it will look smooth, and this is excellent for practicing your blending skills. Each layer practice, let it dry, and try again, and again, and again, until it looks how you want. Smoothing out the sky. Watch this final layer, how much smoother it will get. And I wanted a little more contrast between the light and dark. That's also something to watch, that you don't blend so much that you lose your definite lights and darks. 
And I'm also using an ultra fine mist spray bottle to help it stay wet longer. Starting some clouds with super watered down paint. A little too much here. It takes a little practice to get the right consistency. And then lightly feathering over them with the mop brush. It gives them that light, smooth, transparent look. While they dry, I move on to the water line. Time to transfer my goldfish drawing. I'm using white transfer paper. And I like to erase the lines a little bit with a kneaded eraser so they disappear easier when I paint over them. I'm blocking him in white first because reds, oranges, and yellows tend to be more transparent colors, so to get them super vibrant and pure, they need a white base. Had I, say, painted yellow d directly on top of the blue background, the blue would show through and make it a muddy brownish yellow. It's not cute. And while building up this white base, I let my brush strokes work for me because remember, reds, oranges, and yellows are more transparent, so this detailing I'm doing with just white will show through underneath. Layering this way creates a really nice depth in your painting. Painting him orange. And shading with red. Don't shade orange or yellow with black. It creates a brownish, greenish color. That's not cute. Instead, shade with reds and purples. I'm doing all of this detailing with just white. I don't care about the colors at this point, I'm only focusing on values and details. I will glaze over them with yellow later, which will give him a nice glow.
I'm careful letting the blue of the background show through the ends of his fins to make it look like he's really swimming in that water instead of being stuck on top like a sticker because they are transparent at the end. Glazing more red and magenta. And yellow. Painted some simple bubbles and added some sparkles to the water surface. And that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and thank you so much for watching.